It's a new car. I can explain. And what is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Into the Unknown is completed. <laughs> finally, finally you guys have seen the whole series. And it's done now. Kind of sad that there's no more Into the Unknown episode going on. Now first off, let's talk about Blackie. Blackie, the Mitsubishi Lancer. So much brighter light here. Vic, I feel like this car, it needs a name. Like, I don't think we should call it Triple L Mobile anymore. It should have something special, something unique. Something, you know, like really cool. What do you think? We'll call it Blackie. Because it's black. And you guys were used to seeing me driving Blackie? Well, he has engine failures. You know, the whole weekend was like a big mess trying to get it sorted out. And then it came down to like the family and I decided that we should just swap Blackie with another second-hand vehicle. And this is it. This is the Toyota Sienta. So for those of you who have followed me, and I know some of you have followed me for a long time, you remember the Triple L Mobile. There's sometimes I would just love to just chill, relax, have the air condition on and then just like and then have a body over matching pen being in this living like Lionel channel we have to plan stuff we actually have a meeting here see we could like sit facing each other and plan what we're gonna do in the vlogs this is the cool thing about having a yeah. seat. you're gonna miss this car yeah you remember that I used to drive the Toyota wish I call it the triple L mobile yeah what a lame name but I love the Toyota Wish. In fact, it was one of my favorite cars. It's just because it's spacious. I like the space. I... Okay, this is a comprehensive review. Well, no, not really. This is just a review and my take on the Toyota Sienta. Now, the first thing, the first thing that I like about this car is that uh, automatic sliding doors. Like all I have to do is press this little button and the sliding door closed by itself. You don't get that on the Wish. Folding chairs to make more space and you get the back seat as well. This is so messy but yeah you get the back seat as well there's another back seat there but I fold it in to get more booth space and of course Hazel's bag is there this this here is not a car for everyone like uh, nobody like nobody would dream about owning a Toyota Sienta no one if you're planning to pick up chicks with this car then I never pick up chicks anyway it's like hey girl you want to sit in my Sianta? I, I can't tell you how much I miss having booth space. Like, remember I went to Ikea and I had to get a sofa bed? And then the sofa bed comes in three boxes, three huge boxes. Blackie could never do that. Now, this is what I'm getting. This is, but not this color. So three boxes. One, two, three. What do you think, Fenson? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can fit in your van? Uh, no we gotta try. <laughs> you think? You sure? Mm. <laughs> it fit the whole leaf already. <laughs> mm. Interesting. <laughs> I will sit at the back. Ready, Benson? Like all times? Yeah. Oh, this is really. How are we? <laughs> oh. His, uh, his bed might not be big enough. It's all the way to the front seat. So, uh, guys, I got no place to sit unless I squeeze in between here. I think I can squeeze in between here. Three boxes all filled up. I'm sitting in between because look, there is no space in the front. And Benson, my good old boy. <laughs> well, with this, the Sianta, all four seats could fall down and we get lots of space. Now just check out how much booth space I have now. I could fit two bicycles in this, which means I could take Kobe at the back of this booth and then drive all the way to the east side and then ride at the east side park connectors. 
Yeah. Finally, I get to explore the East. Well, possibility. The possibility is there. But what I love to do with this car is that I like to leave one side of the middle seat up and then I just sit there and I got loads of leg room. See, just like that, I can chill in the back seat here. It's like I'm on a plane, on business class, first class, plenty of leg room. Um, by the way, Hazel, Hazel, she came into this, um, she has been in this car before and uh, she loved it. I just put her on the side here like that and she just sits over here. She loves the car. I love the car. See, the thing about driving the Sianta is that it has like seven speed. For an automatic car, seven speed, which means you could travel at a faster speed and not use or burn so much RPM or fuel. Yeah. I have never drove a car that has seven gears, seven speed. <laughs> It's the first. But what I can tell you is that driving the Sianta, it does not feel like it's a car. It almost feels like you're driving an electric car because it's so quiet. There is very minimum engine sound. Even if you accelerate, you do not feel the torque. It's, it's an electric car. You know when you drive a golf cart buggy? Yeah, that's what it feels like. It is so smooth. The pickup isn't there because it's only a 1.5 cc, but it does the job. The thing is, it does the job. It doesn't feel like it's super weak. It feels like it's sufficient to travel from one end to the other end. And th that's what I need. Like, who am I kidding, man? I do not plan on racing with this car. Again, the big, big take that I have for this car is the space. Like I used to have trouble mounting the camera on top of the dashboard for Blackie. This, I don't have any problem with this. I mean, the car, it has all the standard features like Bluetooth and, you know, there's a microphone up here. <laughs> That's pretty much the quick little review I have for the Toyota Sienta. I've drove it for the last couple of days and this is the feedback I can give you. Even though I would say that it is a downgrade, but it is a good downgrade because, because I prefer space and compatibility. Functional. Yeah, that's the word. Functional. Functional is what I need. And in the past, I had the Toyota Wish. I love the Toyota Wish but it is too expensive. The Triple L Mobile was a 1.8 cc, whereas the Sienta, the Sienta, it's more fuel economy, fuel efficient, yeah. I'm so bad at car reviews. I should never do car reviews. So the only thing left to do is to give it a name. Well, it seems like it's the younger brother of a Toyota Wish, so I'm gonna call it the Triple L Mobile version 2.0. I guess what I was trying to say is that the older I get, I'm more of a functional guy. Space is what I need. More comfort is what I need, rather than the speed and the power and the sport or racing type of cars. If that makes sense, I don't know, I'm getting old. All right, let's go. Okay, it's back to Mars time. By the way, I want to say, Thank you so much for all the wonderful comments. All the wonderful comments for Into the Unknown. You guys enjoyed it. You guys left a lot of wonderful comments. And thank you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, for those of you who think it's not up to standard, then hey, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not a professional story writer. So <laughs> that's the best I could do. Well, I can't say that that's the best I could do. I'm still learning. I'll get better. Everyone gets better. Finally, finally, I get to do a vlog in a day. And well, okay, it's gonna be evening soon, but hey, at least I made an effort to vlog when it's broad daylight. I try my best. Sometimes I just don't have the time. Today, today is one of that exceptional day. And since we are talking about Into the Unknown, the finale, some of you guys are asking me if, if there's gonna be a season two for Into the Unknown. Well, guys, it's hard. It's hard. It's very challenging. 
because of the places that we can go and the places that we are allowed to film. And it's also very challenging to connect or try to connect everything that we find. So that's why I felt like Into the Unknown, I love it for my standard. I felt like it's a big improvement for me. And if I disappoint anybody with the finale, then I'm sorry, I'll get better. This is like my first short film. Well, not really, but um, I did the tunnel once. But that was like, <laughs> that was like ages ago. Look at this wonderful place for chess. Ah, and there's more over there, over there. Ah, sunset. So, um, Blackie, I'm gonna miss Blackie. And in no way that I dislike Blackie. I just felt like I'm a guy that actually prefers space. I like to have the option to be able to put stuff or carry stuff if I need to. And to just briefly explain to you guys why we had to swap the car. It's definitely better to switch it than to fix and repair the car. Uh, not only that, the insurance was up, the car inspection date is up as well. There's a lot of stuff in Singapore and it's just a lot more hassle-free to just swap it. I'm gonna go and head to the beach. Well, where the sea is. And kind of like see if I could show you the sunset, but I don't know if the sunset is gonna set already. I, it's setting soon. A little jungle trail on the boardwalk. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no to season two of Into the Unknown, but um, it's possible. I'm just gonna leave it as that. It could be possible. I'm sorry, you guys, but uh, the sun has already gone down. Actually, I didn't realize that there's a lake here at West Coast Park. Look at that. Pretty huge, isn't it? Not a bad lake. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It's always a pleasure making videos for you guys to watch. And it's always wonderful and great to read all your lovely comments. So with that being said, you guys keep smiling. See ya! You guys, <laughs> I must say, it is, it is really touching that uh, you guys leave really wonderful comments and how you enjoy the whole series and the outcome of the series. Because we put in a lot of work and with you guys, with the support and all the lovely comments, it just make us YouTubers want to do more, want to do better and want to provide for you guys videos for you guys to enjoy because because it shows that you guys appreciate the work that we do and when you guys appreciate the work that we do we want to give our best we want to at least try our best if that makes sense now having said that i watch a channel uh i don't know if you guys heard of this channel before it's uh, kate and nate they are very popular they are travel vloggers they do lots of vlogs I mean, they are very successful, but they were making videos in national parks in America. Now, apparently you need to get permits in America to make a video in their national parks. It's weird, but anyways, so they got a big fine because somebody, some of the viewers reported them and it's really a downer. They put in all the effort to make videos for their subscriber to watch or for the public, for people to enjoy. And they make wonderful travel videos and informative videos. But because of a few douchebags, they decided not to do any more national park videos. And they decided to stop showing people around the national parks. I think the one message that I really want to say here is that I really hope that this world has less jealousy and more supportive people. Like, I think that's very important. Ooh, the lights just got on. <laughs> Yay. I mean, definitely more love and less hate would be pretty much appreciated. <laughs> and then I think the most important thing is kindness. Be kind to one another. Um, yeah, don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Be nice, be kind, and stay cool. <laughs> oh, Lina, you're so lame. I'm so bad with words today. But uh, yeah, be nice, be kind, stay cool. It's my season one outro, but I still mean it. Be nice, be kind, and be cool. The Triple L Mobile version 2.0.